Hello everybody, it's Neko here and in this week's video I'll be showing you a face up of one of my Ever After High dolls. Now I wanted AC Dawn Dancer from the Monster High series for a little while now, but when I took a closer look at her, I realised that her antlers weren't actually in her hair, they were attached to a headband. So I thought instead I'd make my own doll and I had this Bunny Blank doll for a while and decided to combine the deer aspect and the bunny aspect to create a jackalope inspired doll. So once I removed her factory paint, I sealed her face twice with a layer of matte sealant and using a dry paintbrush I began flicking white acrylic paint onto her face to create freckles. Once I was happy with the coverage, I then went back in and cleared up any messy areas with a damp brush and paper towel before taking a smaller detail brush and filling in some more defined freckles before sealing the face once again with a thin layer of sealant. After that, I moved on to adding some blush and contour to her face with some chalk pastels. I focused on her cheeks with a red colour and the sides of her nose with a mix of brown and red to make her nose appear thinner than it really is. After I was happy with the colour coverage on her face, I sketched out her eyebrows with a light brown watercolour pencil before filling them in with a combination of pencils and pastels, using short, thin strokes to create the individual hairs. I got a question in my last video about using watercolour pencils and if they were really needed and the answer is yes. Watercolour pencils have a softer lead inside which makes them easier to stick to plastic but you'll also need some kind of sealant on top of the face beforehand to make the colours really stick. If you try to use normal coloured pencils you won't be able to get the right kind of depth in the colour. Once I finished with the eyebrows, I then filled in the mouth with a dark brown pencil, adding some red pastels to give the lips a bit of a different colour to the rest of her face, just to make them stand out a little bit more. After sealing it for the third time, I moved on to drawing the eyes. Now I wanted these to look more deer-like because we are going for like a jackalope kind of look. So while Bunny's face was inherently quite small and bunny-like, I wanted to have a little more fawn-like look to her. So I elongated her eyes and I extended the inner corner points a little bit further than you usually would, just like on a real deer's eyes. And I'm using a very, very sharp pencil here just so I can get really fine points on my lines. Now unfortunately my camera cut out some of the parts with colouring the eyes but it caught most of it which I was glad with. I actually got more footage than I thought I had originally done but it still cut out a little bit of it so I apologise for the jump. So once I was happy with my eyes outline I then went in and drew some guidelines for where I wanted the iris and the pupils to be with a very light brown colour. After that I moved on to the colouring over with a light green and faded it into a darker green creating a kind of gradient effect and once I was satisfied with what I'd done on the eye so far I then sealed it again before adding the pupils. Firstly with the dark green and then very lightly over with the black before I then outlined the entire eye. Then to hide any kind of obvious pencil marks or lines I went over the entire eye with a green pastel making the eyes seem a little bit softer. Once all this was done I then sealed the face yet again and then I spent a little while just cleaning up any little mistakes, going over a few of the freckles and generally adding any final touches to the face before sealing it the final time and adding little shines to the eyes with some more acrylic paint. 
And that's it. I'm actually really happy with how this girly turned out. I decided to call her Jackie as in like jackalope or a jack rabbit. <laughs> And I'm thinking about re reface upping Twyla, so if you like this video and like that idea, then give it a thumbs up. As usual guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment below with any kind of crafty creations you'd like to see me create. And until next week guys, take care. Bye!